Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today, we're going to talk about some things. We're going to expose some stuff. Okay. So, let's just do it. Exposing B-Love. I met B-Love in August. When I said August, I was like not physically met, but I was introduced to B-Love in August of 2019. I had 78 subscribers. And I was doing a series on my channel called uh, the Spotlight Series. And I wasn't going to do a spotlight on Be Love Just Yet because I just wasn't ready. And I just, I felt like my channel wasn't ready to um, bring that type of attention to me. You know, like sometimes we underestimate ourselves. We think that we're not ready. We think that we're not prepared, but we we are. So I have been watching B Love's channel um, almost ever since she started, actually. And like a lot of us, I actually found uh, one of her videos on Facebook. So that's how I got introduced to the people that we all love and we all see, which is be love. So I have been watching her basically ever since she got started. So I knew I wanted to do a spotlight, but I wasn't um, ready. I thought I, I thought my channel wasn't ready and I thought I was not prepared. So anyway, I was just watching youtube on a random day and um it might it might not was august and it was july was it july it might have been july august anywho but the summer let's just say that the summer of 2019 so i watched a video where she was doing shout outs and she was giving channel shout outs um, for it because they had did a challenge. And she was just giving shout outs, just showing love. And I was sitting there watching her and I'm like, and I looked at her subscriber account and I'm like, oh my God, this woman is sitting here literally calling out names in this particular video she was not rushing she was not in a rush she was taking her time she was calling out every channel video that had done her challenge and she was even calling out channels just to show love and i'm like wow this this is awesome you know so i just kept watching and i'm like okay i got to do i got to do a video for her Okay, few days. I went to bed with a headache, didn't know what was wrong, wasn't feeling my best, woke up and literally could not brush my teeth. Literally, the water, everything was just kind of like drooling out of my mouth, literally. And I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong? And um, went to the ER, thought I was having a stroke got diagnosed with bail policy. And I was like, oh Lord, I just, I don't know. I can't do YouTube anymore. I can't show my face anymore. All these things that you already down yourself. So you start down. Okay. So my mom's like, nope, keep recording. So that, that's when I decided to do the uh, spotlight on below. 78 subscribers. I did the spotlight on B Love. She was my uh she living spotlight. And some type of way she found it. 
I sent her a message about it. She never looked at the message, never looked at the message um, or anything. And she found me. She was just like strolling through YouTube, I guess. And she found me. And she is like, it was instant. When she found me, she said I had blessed her life and all the things I had spoke over her. And she was just overwhelmed. So she turned around and did another video about, listen, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all about this lady that she, she spoke so many things about me. She spoke into my life and she blessed me. I'm like, oh my God. I was just, just like, okay. So, she, and then she, um, began to reach out. She started, she subscribed to my channel. She started following me on Instagram and we started going back and forth. And she's like, what's your cash out? I said, what? You said, what? What's my, what? Are you serious? And I gave her my cash out and I'm like, this, this, this is amazing. This is amazing. So that is my story about beloved. That is how we connected. Whenever I talk to her on the phone, it's like we talk and time go by. I hadn't talked to her on the phone uh, no less than an hour. I, I know less than an hour. She listens. She understands. She's funny. Um, she's caring. Uh, she will give you advice. So when, when I come on here and I love on her, I, it's just, it's coming from a for real, for real place. Okay. Let's, let's talk about shout outs. B-Love is one of the few huge YouTubers that still do shout outs. Let's be clear. She one of the few that still does shout outs. You can do her challenge and she is going to try her best to shout out each and every last one of you, one of us. Come on. She going to sit there. She going to take her time. She going to find them. She is going to do her best to shout you out for a channel that she created. She don't, she don't have to do that. But she gonna shout you out. She gonna um she gonna post you in her community post. And I told her this: big YouTubers, even some small YouTubers, they will create a challenge and still will not acknowledge the people that do their challenge. Be love life is not one of those people. She is going to shout you out if she knows that you did her challenge. If she can find you, she's going to shout you out. She's going to post you in her community post. Now it's getting a bit overwhelming because it's so many people want their, their channel to come out of B-Love's live mouth. So shout outs. If she see you, she going to shout you out. Even if she don't watch you, if she see you and you done did a challenge of hers, she going to shout you out. If she see you and she come across your channel and she like what she see, she going to talk about you in your, her video. She going to shout you out. That's just the way she is. Challenges. Beloved said challenges is um, a way to bring the communities together, especially the mukbang community. That is why challenges really is in place. To me, challenges is not for competition. It's not for this mind. This mind, you can't take it. Challenges is for to bring a community of people that have a love for the same thing together. So when she put the challenges out and she don't know that is your challenge, she going to come back and say, this is where I got the challenge from. It's not my challenge. And this is who challenge it is. 
I'm speaking from what I've seen in the years that I've been watching her in the, the uh, time that we become friends. This is who I've seen. This is who I'm exposing. The mukbang queen, the mukbang shout out queen, the mukbang challenge queen. I'm exposing Be Love Life today. Being real. Be Love Life is, to me, is one of the realest people on YouTube. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to um, acknowledge me, come for me. You don't even have to know my name. But the fact that God has allowed me and her path to cross, I count it in honor. I count it in honor and a privilege to be able to be associated, to be able to pick up the phone and be able to call somebody that I have looked up to and that I have admired so long from afar. If she, if, if she can help you, she going to help you. If she could give you some advice, she going to give you some advice. If she can be on a support to your channel, she going to support your channel. She's not going to talk down on you. She's not going to get on her platform and bash you. She's not going to tell her subscribers to unsubscribe. She's not going to tell her subscribers to don't go check this out. She's not going to do none of that. And to me, that's exposing the real. Just because a person does something to you, she will, she she's not going to retaliate. She's not going to, she, that, that's just what she will do. If it gets too much, she's going to show you some receipts. So I'm exposing the real person that I become to love and care for and admire and support. The Smackalicious Infamous Sauce. I just got my mile in the mail. I already used my spicy. I already used the spicy, so I got my mouth. Make sure you get the mild in the spicy sauce. Okay. The Smackalicious sauce. Listen. We can go in any store and you will see salt and pepper, right? The basis of everything. Salt and pepper. Then you will see garlic and pepper. Then you will see seasoning salt. Then you will see lemon pepper. So listen, a combination of seasonings is in just about everything that you're going to go buy in a store to season your food with. So listen, let me tell you, it don't matter who started it. It don't matter what's in it. It don't matter what. But because I believe in this product, I believe in be love. I'm going to support it. It doesn't matter who, uh, what nobody else think. It doesn't, doesn't matter what nobody else say. God favor is on her life. That is why she continued to sell out. Y'all know I'm known for the scriptures. People, a lot of people don't like my channel because I do scripture. But let me tell you, that's who I am. That's what I've been raised upon. That's what the life that I chose to live. I stand on the word of God. I stand on the platform. For God I live, for God I die. Nobody has a heaven or a hell to put me in. So I'm going to continue to read scripture. And this scripture right here, where the Bible said, touch not my anointed do my prophet no harm. Touch, touch not my anointed. Whatever God has placed his favor on, whoever God has placed his favor on, you better not touch it. You better not touch it. You better not speak ill about it. You better not try to bring it down. You, you better watch your mouth, watch your actions. When you messing with somebody that is favored by God, you skating on thin ice and woe unto you. Because the thing of matter is, 
Bethany Gaskins could not do what she does if the hand of God was not on her life. Come on. We're just eating food. That's it. That's all we're doing is eating food. And so if God had made a way for her to be the spotlight for all the mukbangers, being on all these huge platforms, for all the mukbangers, this is pushing all of us forward. When one win, we all win. It does not matter where the wind come from because if she's if she's blazing the trail and we behind her, come on. The blessing's going to trickle down to you. We got to stop all the pettiness, stop all the envy, stop all the strife, stop all the jealousy and build up one another. It's time out and sick of it. God is not pleased. God is not pleased. You cannot hurt a child of God. Today, I expose you, B Love's life, Bethany Gaskin, my sister. I expose you for being the real person that you have been to my life. I, have, I expose you for being the kind con content creator that you have been for this community. I, I expose you for continuing to acknowledge the big, small, in between, medium, funny, whatever channel. I expose you for continuing to support everybody. I, ex I expose you for being an entrepreneur. Your sauce is amazing. I expose you for leading the trail with uh, creating challenges, uh, giving uh, the challenge creator their credit. I expose you for being the uh, trailblazer that you are for the YouTube mukbang community. To you, I say, my sister, continue to strive, continue to race, run this race. You don't owe me and nobody else nothing. Continue to soar, continue to be great, continue to be the queen that you are. I speak nothing but blessings. I speak nothing but prosperity. 2020, they hadn't seen what God finna do for you and through you. Continue to be great. And whoever else is watching this, this uh, YouTube video, continue to be great. Soar. My sister, my brother, continue to soar. I come from a place of love. I always be pos positivity. If you don't want positivity, you're not. don't come on this channel. I lead with love and I'm going to end with love. Continue to love God, love people, serve God, serve people. Bye. I love y'all.